equations here that will show us how much air these fruits or vegetables need to breathe to stay fresher longer. And as you can see on the bottom here, you can see there's a line here where the moisture from the fruits or vegetables goes down so that the fruits and vegetables are not sitting in their own moisture. And that will keep, help keep them fresher longer. And how this does is, is the little vent on top, you just switch it if you want it full or a half, and so that will allow the air to fall. And I've had my head of lettuce last over three weeks mm -hmm. in one of these things. Mm -hmm. And that was just regular romaine dollar store lettuce. It was, it was nothing fancy, over three weeks. And it was still fresh and crisp. That's what we need really well. And one more thing, another thing I wanted to share with you is our can opener. This is really fantastic. It's, a, it's good, you can use it if you're right-handed or left-handed. Instead of it opening, instead of it cutting the lid, what it does is it just breaks the seal. So you're not going to cut yourself on the lid when you try to pull it off. So once you open the can, you're just going to take this little, this little edge right here, and you're going to close it, and when you lift it up, you'll see that it's just, you're just cutting the seal, so it's not going to, it's not going to cut you. It's, it's a safe, safe edge here. And then did you want me to talk about this next, or just stick with the products? Do you want me to talk about everything, or just? What? Okay, here's why I'm looking at it. Well, I'm brand new and I don't know what the kid has in it, so I would like to hear it all. And Fantastic. Tell us what that pink products. box is all about. Did you get to tell us about the pink box? She's no, not yet. Oh, you're yeah. products first. Okay. Yeah. okay, yes. Okay, and these are measuring spoons. What's really great about these measuring spoons, as well as our measuring cups, is that the measurement is embossed onto the product. So you don't have to worry about the ink wearing off over time. That's not going to happen. And these measuring cups are embossed and they have a little ring that comes off easily. And it goes right back on. So you don't have to use the entire set if you just need one spoon. And, and Julianne's going to be really excited about this next piece right here. What's that? Thing. I told her about it. Oh, the omelet maker? Yeah. There it is, guys. <laughs> this is our omelet maker. This is fantastic. So we're, what we can do in here is we can stick an egg, along with some cheese and some onions, um, bacon pieces, whatever you would like. And you can put this in a microwave and put it in for one minute for one egg, a minute and a half for two eggs. And when you take the lid off, you will have a perfect omelet. It's not overdone, it's not over dry, it's perfect. perfect. How much butter are you putting in first? I don't cook with butter. Mm -hmm. That's right. I do not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 it works. It works with you butter too. <laughs> <laughs> you now I had a friend that said the husband only liked sautéed onions in his omelet when we were doing the party, and I said, you know what? We'll put a little butter. We'll cut up the onion. We'll put it in, and that'll sauté it. It does. It does. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh wow, that's awesome. Well. And it does wonderful. This is dishwasher proof, so when you're all done, you just put it in the dishwasher and it, and it, it cleans up wonderfully. And these are our freezes. And what this is, it, it's a system of, you can put these in the freezer and it, it will uh, freeze your products with some organization. You will have some sort of, uh, you know, like um, icicles on your food, but that's, that's it's a, uh, it's just going to take a longer time than say if you put it in a baggie. And it's more of an organization in your freezer than just throwing a bag of berries in your freezer. At least when you put them in here, it's going to keep it fresher longer. It's going to keep the ice off of them even longer. And it will look more organized and more pretty. <laughs> and so, and then here I have a little section of what we call a tiny treasures. It's just a few little things to get your party started. But also in your kit, we're gonna get here, this is called a little black book. This is a really informative book. It tells you many things about a lot of, a good portion of our products. And it is also it includes the um, 
things in here that are under warranty, the chips, tracks, skeins, anything like that, this information is in here, so you won't be caught off guard if you read this book first. And also in this kit, we have our current fundraising catalog. And also in our kit will be our brochures and our catalogs. That will help us get our party started. Well, on average, two to three parties, this will last for you. And then also in this kit, we're going to have a we will have some blank business cards for, for you to fill in with your name and with all your contact information. These are included here. These are blank. You fill them out yourselves. And then we'll have the order forms so that we are ready for our parties. And then also, we have some fundraiser order forms for our fundraisers. And this is a really great sheet that talks about our Confident Start program, which we will be sharing with you shortly. It's a brief description about the wonderful program. And we have some forms in here, so then when we are ready to recruit, we can sign them up right away. And two, we have folders. So we can put all of our products in the folders, all nice and neat. And then the, some envelopes to stick the folders in, along with our catalogs and our brochures. But I wanted to save the best for last. This is our Quick Chef Pro. It's a wonderful, fantastic item. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's efficient. It's, it's just amazing. So first of all, I wanted to tell you that with this Quick Chef Pro, you can make margaritas in seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the ice is not going to dull the blades, so you don't have to worry about that. We can make things like salsa, guacamole, there's all kinds of things we can do with the Quick Chef Pro. We wanted to show you some great features about it. First of all, so we have the anti-skid bottom, so when you're on a table, on a, on a flat table, and you're turning it, it's not going to slide everywhere because it has an anti-slip grip on the bottom. And this bowl is dishwasher safe. So you don't have to worry about it. Now these blades, I wanted to show you, they have three different levels, as you can see, hopefully. And on one side of, the, of each blade is flat, and then the other side is sharp. And the purpose of that is that when you're, when you want to cut, you're going to cut. But when you just need to stir the ingredient, it's not going to overcut it, and you're not going to get mushy. Nobody wants mushy potatoes in there, or tomatoes in their salsa. It's kind of gross. And so this is the lid here. It comes apart really easy for cleaning. You just take our famous uh, citrus peeler and get it in here and take this off and, and it's, it will clean for you. So we're just going to lock that in place and then we can just like this. And those you guys. And so right here is our funnel. When we are making a cake, let's just say we're going to make a cake, a little bit of a cake. And we need to put the oil in, but not yet. We can set it in here so it's ready to go. And I'm just going to stir it, and when it's time to put the oil in, I just turn it, and the oil will go in when I want it to. It will turn, and it will go in. So instead of having to take this off, put it back together, and screw it on, you just turn it, and it will add the ingredients when you're ready. Then you just stir. Sweet. Is she doing good? Yeah. Yeah. This is her first time we give her a hand. Yeah. Yeah. This is her first time. Yeah. On the call. Okay, here it is. You're not done. No, you're not done. Because I don't know. Okay. I just wanted her to breathe because I could tell she was a pretty. <laughs> and the, the can opener is one of your favorites as well. I think we just had one more item. Did you share that and miss it? Yes, I shared it. Okay, so I missed that. Because I was yes. talking. Shame on me. Yes. Okay, did you see how simple yeah. the, but how complete this kit is? Isn't that wonderful? But that's not all. That's not all. How much is the kit? How much is its value? The value of the kit is a total value of $350. And how much does it cost us to purchase that kit? Well, if you sign up, when you sign up today, your down payment will be $30. So what's the total cost? The total cost is $99. $99. But we only have to pay $30? You only have to pay $30. Okay, I know you've got another surprise. What's next? What happens if, it, it, how do I pay that rest of that $69? Okay. The rest of the $69, if you hold two parties 
and each party is an average of four hundred and fifty dollars. Or you, two or you do five parties, parties at two. Or you do five parties, but okay. two average parties in Tubworth will pay will pay the remainder of your kit. Yeah, Did you get that? Uh, so that means you only pay thirty dollars for all of this. Plus you get those parties, right? Not ninety nine, not three hundred and fifty, but thirty dollars. Is that awesome? Oh, but guess what? That's not. Oh, there's more. I think she has Carol here to tell her a little bit about more because there is a say yes offer. You join today, there's a say yes offer. And her husband's here to help her share that. They work together as a team and we're really excited about this say yes offer. Yay. Yes, our say yes offer. Today is the Fusion. It's a little grinder. I'll just put it together for you. It is an awesome little kitchen tool. You can fresh grind all your meats. Um, there's also this hummus, homemade hummus recipe. I'm dying to try. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It is. Oh, okay. okay, I'm going to interrupt you for a second, Harold, while you're putting that together. Okay. Okay? Because with the hummus recipe, you may have a pressure cooker, and you cook your garbanzo beans. Soak them overnight, put them in the pressure cooker for 30 minutes, and the taste between them 